Well, hey there, I'm Greg. Welcome to the backyard. Today in the backyard, we are talking about the English longbow versus the modern longbow. Check it out. So the English longbow, carved out of a single piece of Italian U. This one is pulling right around 55 pounds at my draw length, which is around 27 and a half inches. This is pulling about 55 pounds. Uh, it is a gorgeous bow, but it is a single piece of wood. This one, uh, this is the Bear Patriot, also pulling right around 55 pounds at uh, 27 and a half inches of draw length. Uh, this is a laminate. This is multiple pieces of wood glued together and shaped. It has what's called a reflex deflex, which means when it's unstrung, uh, this kind of curves this way a little bit, which gives a little more oomph. So I'm going to put some arrows uh, through both bows, through, through the chronograph, see which one flies faster. We will be using identical arrows for both bows, and we'll see which one's faster. Check it out. All right, we'll start with the English longbow. I am using a modern carbon arrow, but we use the same arrow for both bows. Uh, this arrow is weighing in right around 485 grains. Let's see what kind of speed we get. One thirty-three. All right, now let's try the modern longbow, the Reflex Deflex Bear Patriot. Exact same arrow. Let's see what we get. One forty. All right, let's try the English war bow. This is, again, a single piece of Italian U. Uh, this is pulling right around 90 pounds. This is a traditional arrow. It is weighing in around 720 grains. Let's see what we get. 124. Let's try another one. Let's take a second shot and see what happens. Oh, we break the chronograph, that's what happens. Third shot, Let's see how it goes. Okay, you want to see how that went? It went just like this. Yep. That's what a 90 pound war bow does to a chronograph. So besides learning that you shouldn't shoot your chronograph with a 90 pound war bow, what else did we learn from all this? Let's go to the workbench. So this didn't turn out exactly like I thought it was going to. <laughs> My chronograph is now worthless. My chronograph is garbage because I shot it up pretty well with that 90 pound war bow. My original thought was to compare the English longbow, the traditional English war bow, to a modern reflex deflex longbow and just compare speeds. Turns out you, you, you can't really. They are so completely different. Uh, it's not like comparing apples to oranges even. It's like comparing oranges to toasters. They are so completely different different. And when I tried to do that, things didn't go the way that I thought they were going to go. Uh, and I ended up destroying my chronograph. It is now worthless. And sometimes for us as followers of Jesus, when we try and do things that, that we're not supposed to do, when we, when we think that there are things that we can do in our own strength, when we think that there are things that, that we can do because of our own gifts, our own talents, our own abilities, our own strengths, uh, we eventually realize that compared to Jesus, that what I can do is nothing. Philippians 3, 7 to 9 says, I once thought these things were valuable. Paul is saying that the, the things that, that, he, that he was, the things that he thought that he could do, his strengths. He says, I once thought that these things were valuable, but now 
I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. As followers of Jesus, when we are trying to do things in our own strength, through our own power, because of our own gifting, we, we eventually realize that compared to who and what Christ is, this is worthless. This is garbage. Much like my chronograph, much like my things that I think that I can do in my own strength. But Christ has reconciled us to himself. God has made us perfect and holy and sinless because of Christ Jesus. That is the, the infinite value of knowing Christ. Do you know him? Not just know about him. Do you know who he is? Does he know you? Do you spend time with Jesus? That's our goal. Until next time, you keep aiming for whatever it is God has called you to do and to be.